Magpie is the world's best and only magazine for the Raspberry Pi, a $35 computer that's changing the way kids learn about computing and also as well making new opportunities available to many hobbyists throughout the world. Hi, my name is Dr. William Bell. I'm here at CERN. This is where I work for the University of Geneva. Uh, behind me you can see the Atlas Control Room, which is a control room experiment I work on. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about the Magpie. The Magpie is a magazine for Raspberry Pi users. Here is the Raspberry Pi. We're involved in this project because the Raspberry Pi is a way of changing children's uh, views of computing. Computing, as you might imagine, is very fundamental to physics here at the Large Hadron Collider. And so the, this project is all about encouraging children. Uh, we want to get the Raspberry Pi magazine into the hands of children so that they can learn how to program. I first proposed the idea of the Magpie magazine back in March on the Raspberry Pi forums after reading numerous threads by those new to programming who wanted to learn but were perhaps unsure of how to start or whether they had enough experience to operate the Raspberry Pi. At the time, there was no documentation for how to use this clever little computer, and most tutorials and projects were aimed and written by those with lots of experience in using Linux or had a background in programming. I felt that as a result of this, it may put a lot of beginners off attempting to learn how to program and perhaps prevent them from realising the vast variety of projects that would be possible with limited effort with the Pi. Once the Raspberry Pi was released and um, they began shipping. The Raspberry Pi community grew dramatically. Um, more and more websites were popping up, um, blogs, uh, extra forums as well. And it was becoming very clear to me that um, it was going to be very difficult for people to find information. There was a lot of it out there, but it wasn't centralised in one place. And um, there'd be a lot of conflicting information as well. So. Um, a few of us on the forums decided that um, a focused magazine, which ideally would be for beginners and also um, as, as we progressed and introduced more, it would become suitable for experts and uh, hobbyists as well. Target, the more experienced programmer, one thing I felt was missing from the Raspberry Pi community was that of a central hub. Aside from the forums, which would allow those to explain in detail to others how to replicate their project, perhaps showcase pictures, videos, and answer any questions from the community on the topic to help others in a similar situation. Coming from a medical background with publishing papers and journals, I felt that the best way the community could share their experience um, was in the form of a peer review journal online, and this in to tick all the boxes and comply with the educational ethos of the foundation. We have received a huge amount of feedback from all of our online readers. They would really love to see full colour printed copies of the back issues. On that note, we have started this Kickstarter campaign to keep you all happy. So far, we have sourced test print copies of issues 6 and 7 from our supplier of choice, as you can see here. And we're really impressed with the quality. Each issue contains 32 full colour printed pages of interesting editorials, interviews and projects for you to work on, whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out. We are thankful for all the support given to us by both the Foundation and all of our readers. We've been overwhelmed by how well we've been received, with constant feedback to reflect this, and some great articles featuring the magazine by the Wall Street Journal and the BBC's Rory Callan Jones. Producing the magazine is a global production. Some contributors like myself, live in North America. Others live in the United Kingdom and others in Central Europe. Working with the Magpie team has been a really good experience. They're a good group of people and we've um, worked together really well and everybody seems to pitch in and, and do their bit to really get the magazine up to standard and out on time which we feel is quite important so that uh, the magazines are of good quality and also is there on a regular basis as well. To me, the Magpie has taught me a lot about the Raspberry Pi community, its projects, and boosting my confidence in the end. Getting their mag printed would mean more people can access what the Magpie has to offer. We at the Magpie magazine are so excited to be able to offer the possibility of a printed version of all eight issues of the magazine, as this is something which gets requested of us from our readers.
having the addition of an attractive binder adds to the collectability of the issues and makes a great gift to yourself and any of your loved ones. It'll be really good to see the um, Magpie in print. Um, I've, personally, I've, I've printed out a few of them um, as part of proofreading and also um, as, as reference material. And I found it extremely useful to have a paper-based version of it to flip through and look up various bits and pieces, which I suddenly remember, oh yes, I need, need to know that information, and there it is on the page. Um, and it's really nice to see the fine quality print which um, we had for issue 6 and um, the reprint of the entire series should be of a similar quality and it, it should be quite nice to see it all in a nice binder as well so that should be quite good and I hope everybody will support us with that. For more information on the Magpie magazine or for the chance to review the upcoming issue please visit www.themagpie.com. If you have any comments about the Magpie magazine, please feel free to leave these in the comments section below. We're super excited by our plans for the Magpie in 2030 and hope you'll support this Kickstarter project. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much for reading the Magpie. It's been really good to produce the content for you all. I hope it's been helpful.